How's it going? I have been thinking really hard about my plant goals for this new year, 2023, and I've never really made plant goals before, so this is my first time, so we'll see how it goes, um, but I'm really excited about these. Some of them are things that are more in my control, and some are, I guess, a little bit out of my control. I can't really completely control how my plants grow. I can give them, you know, I can provide them with the environment that's going to help them thrive the best. But when it comes down to it, it is the plant doing the work, not me. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started off with things that are a little bit more in my control. And I have my, um, my iPad here because I have them all written out. Um, so I would, I want to do some more like DIY planters and pots. So I think make, making concrete pots is something that's fairly feasible and easy. This is just what I've heard. I could be completely wrong, but I definitely want to try that. I want to do maybe like some concrete pots or maybe paint some terracotta pots or just do something fun. That's, you know, I have a lot, I have a lot of uh, plants and in plastic pots and it's not the most aesthetically pleasing and you know sometimes it's nice if it's a clear container because you can see the roots but I feel like there's just something more aesthetically pleasing about having a decorative pot and I love terracotta and concrete pots so I think terracotta pots are probably a little bit more difficult because I think you do need like more materials whereas I don't know I've just heard concrete more easy I guess so concrete pots and maybe some other cool DIY planters okay and this is another kind of on the aesthetic side another goal is I want to get <laughs> cute prop boxes so currently I am propagating all of my cuttings and all of my you know little I guess babies <laughs> and mainly in plastic containers uh so like a big piece of tupperware with sagna moss or perlite in it and then i just throw in the cuttings and although this worked it works really well i haven't had any you know terrible experiences with it it just doesn't look very pretty to have a plastic piece of tupperware <laughs> on the, the sill of your window so I'm thinking maybe more like tiny little, I think Ikea has these really pretty like glass, like mini greenhouses uh, that I think would just be so, so, so super cute. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm, I haven't like looked up too many ideas, but I feel a, I have a feeling there's some really cool like DIY and just unique things that, that I could do, I could try. Okay, this is the last one that's, <laughs> more in my control. Um, so I have actually quite a few succulents outside on my patio and they're all, not all of them, but most of them are kind of separated into their own little separate pot. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to get kind of, you know, either one big pot or a couple of big pots and kind of put them together. And so they're, you know, all in the same pot together, living together. I just think it's going to really make it look more like almost like a little succulent land inside of the pot and like you could put little figurines in there to make it look like they're maybe like sitting underneath the shade of one of the succulents or something cute like that but I really like it when there's like a little succulent arrangement and I have some pretty cool succulents that I really enjoy and I think would pair well or complement another one that I have so that is next on my list or next on my goals and now we're gonna get a little bit more into the goals that are more outside of my control. And one of those is to get one of my Hoyas to flower, to bloom. It can be any Hoya. I don't have any specific ones in mind. I've never had a Hoya bloom for me. And I, I more recently have gotten into Hoyas, but I, I've had, probably the Hoya I've had the longest is which one? Probably my Hoya Publix, the splash, if that's the right way to say it. Um, 
but I've probably had that one the longest and it's bushy and full and I've had it for maybe almost going on two years now probably two years this summer and I don't even see a peduncle on it um I, ha I do have some Hoya that have peduncles on it. I've bought them with peduncles. I've never had one of my own Hoya grow a peduncle. I think I did have one growing a peduncle and then it fell off because I left and when I came back, I like went on vacation and when I came back, it had fallen off because it was pretty dry. But yeah, I would really love just to have one or any one of my Hoya's flower. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> And what I am doing is I am spraying them with um, the Miracle Grow Orchid Spray. But I do want to kind of switch up and try something different because that does get, you know, I have to replace those fairly often because it doesn't come with much. So I'm going to be looking into our alternatives of what I could use instead of the Miracle Grow Orchid Spray. So I want to revive. This is. There's kind of a couple things in here, um, but I'm only interested in one of these. So there are some uh, Cebu Blue uh, Pothos cuttings in here surrounding it, but um, I am talking about this. This is a begonia, and um, and as you can see, it's pretty sad. Um, it goes through this phase. So I got this from Botanicas and it's a Botanicas type begonia. I forget the number that it is, um, but I got it and I had gotten one of their mystery boxes and this is one of the plants that came with it. And when I unboxed it, it was had these beautiful pink leaves um, and they have since melted off <laughs> and the, it'll, it, the leaves have grown back and then the leaves have melted off again and now it looks like they're growing back um i don't know um this wasn't a much smaller container and you're probably like oh that's in way too big of a pot but i i repotted it probably about a month or two ago because the roots i mean the begonia roots were very fine and they were clearly just outgrown in the, the pot that it was in so this was kind of the next size up in it and it did fit it um and since i did that these new leaves have come back so what i want to do my goal is to basically just get this guy happy and not kill it <laughs> fingers crossed i haven't looked up any care on this or uh, anything of that i've heard botanicas begonias just really need to be in really high humidity that's why i have it in this um, container right here but I'm thinking it's it's very close to my window and I'm thinking maybe it's getting too cold. I don't know, I'm gonna try a couple things. I might try propagating it, but I'm a little scared to cut it. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, um, my, one of my goals is to get this begonia to be alive and happy by the end of this year. Um. So next on my goals, this is a Syngonium um, Aurea, and it's so pretty, I love it. I got it as a cutting, um, and this was one of, this is the oldest leaf, but the first leaf it had is no longer with us. Um, but my goal for this plant, it honestly, the everyone says that Syngoniums are really fast growers, but I've not really had that experience. I mean, you could say this is a lot of leaves, so there's, one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one on the way. Um, so I guess in comparison to maybe some other plants, that's a lot, but when people, when someone says, hey, this plant grows like a weed, I expected it to grow a little faster. And maybe it's just because it was rooting and maybe it'll take off soon. But my goal for 2023 is to get a full basket of Syngonium Aurea, so fingers crossed that it will pick up on its growth. Uh, this is its newest leaf right here. So you can see it is kind of more of a greeny and then it kind of fades to a yellowy and it almost fades to a creamy white. So yeah, Syngonium Aurea full basket is one of my goals. Alrighty, so next, this is a very, oh, it's like falling out. This is a very sad Christmas cactus I had and my goal is like i mean it's coming out <laughs> of here so 
I think my goal is to propagate this and try to make it happy. Um, I think it's probably dying. Um, I've been kind of neglecting it. It bloomed for me last year. It did not bloom for me this year. Um, and I had this as a, this was a, a plant, not a full plant, but it was probably like two or three like cuttings and they all were probably this size and I did the same thing. I kind of killed it and I didn't kill it, but it was dying, but it was a little bit sentimental to me because I got this plant in California and I got it with my mom and we went to this nursery that we really liked to go to in, uh, back when I lived in San Diego and that nursery has since closed and so I just have this special even though it's a Christmas cactus and these are pretty common you can find them anywhere I just have kind of a special connection with this one um which you probably wouldn't be able to tell with how neglected it is so uh fingers crossed I can bring it back it doesn't feel mushy or anything I think I'm just going to take a bunch of cuttings and try to propagate them and go from there you're probably recognizing a theme here um it's kind of all my neglected plants that I'm showing. I mean, I would not say this one's neglected actually. Um, one of my first videos actually was showing me talking about this plant and how I was struggling with it. Um, and I repotted it into a different, you know, more chunky soil mix. And I will say that is definitely helping. Um, you can see some babies in there. Um, and it's, it took a while to, to acclimate, I would say, but I mean, it's not dying and I can pick it up without a bunch of its leaves dropping. So yay. Um, and, and so really what I want to do is it just looks not very pleasing. <laughs> so I want to just take a bunch of cuttings, propagate them and kind of stick them back in and get, get a more full basket. It's kind of bald up here and sparse. Um, but I just love this plant so much. I think it's, I think it's very, very, very pretty. Um, and I think if it was trailing, like if it was a big trailing basket, I think it would look gorgeous. But yeah, I have taken some cuttings of this and kind of put them in a prof box to experiment with how easily they propagate. And they, it propagated very easily. It was just kind of like a node here. I did that last time, I think I, when I repotted this. So, and I do notice there are some pieces that are reverting, which um, I think it looks really pretty to have like a reverted strand next to a variegated strand. So I'm okay with it, with strands reverting and I almost hope more revert. That way there's more of a balance between variegated strands and non-variegated strands. Okay, we're getting close. Or we're getting close. I have three more goals. So this guy's right here in front of me, so <laughs> I'm going to talk about him. This is... Um, a monstera I have and he's a sport um, I don't know he's like a morphological sport so if you can kind of see there um, I'm a couple of the leaves have this wrinkly texture like sectorial texture to it um, and I've shown this plant before it has a new oh it's got a new leaf coming in um, and you can see some of that texture right here. So my goal for this plant is I want to chop this plant up and propagate it. And I want to see if I can get, if the, you know, the, the propagated or the propagations that I grow continue with this weird morphological sport weirdness about it. I mean, fingers crossed it will because it, it will be heartbreaking to me if I cut this plant up and it just completely dissipates and it just no longer exists. Um, so this, it's going to be hard for really, really hard for me to cut this up, but I think it's honestly worth the risk just because I, I'm just, I'm very curious now. And I don't know. I think it's something very special. Um, and I found, I just found this at a Home Depot. Um, and it's giving me like three new leaves and they all have some type of weird texturation to them. So fingers crossed it'll continue. But yeah, so my other goal is to chop this guy up and propagate him and cross my fingers that <laughs> the morphological sport weirdness of it continues through the propagations. Next on my list.
is do, do, do. Up, up. to get my Anthurium clavigerum to mature more. So um, I got this plant from Equigenera and this is its new, it's giving, it's throwing me like two new leaves. So it's giving me this one, which holy moly, it's way bigger than any of these other leaves. I was definitely not expecting that. Um, and then also down below, it activated a new growth point and it gave me this leaf. So he's a little chubby boy. <laughs> kind of sounded weird, but yeah, this is him. And as you can see, I just noticed today when I picked him up to talk about him, um, there is some new growth coming in. Uh, there's a new leaf in the way the new leaf unravels is really cool um it's very unique it kind of i i haven't had a new leaf on a philodendron tortum but it kind of i've seen pictures of it and it kind of gives me those types of vibes oh <laughs> um and i don't see a new leaf uh coming out of you know i don't see another one coming out of the top here but um this plant is so cool once it matures and i would like to at the end of by the end of the year there's like three lobes here and I'm pretty sure it gets like multiple. So I'd like to get it to a point where it's not completely mature because I don't think I can, I don't think this plant is able to do that in a year. That'd be asking and hoping for a lot. But maybe if there were just like four uh, leaves coming out of one stem or not stem, what is this? Uh, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the name four leaves coming out of this part right here the stem I guess I guess it is the stem I don't know I feel like it's not the right word but anyways I'd like one leaf to have four separate leaves coming out of it right now there's three three is the only ones I see but I think there's can be like a lot um I'll try to find a mature photo to show you all but yeah, so that is one of my goals, to get my Anthurium cl clavigerum to mature uh, and reach the top of this pole. So reach the top of the pole and mature more. <laughs> Alrighty, and lastly, my final goal for 2023 is to pollinate an Anthurium. I would love to do a cross-pollination of something funky and cool and Currently, my Anthurium GG, which is also my Anthurium, which is also more so called the Anthurium Nigro, something Nigro Laminum. I forget, I forget. But yeah, my Anthurium GG is has a flower. I think flower is the wrong word for it, but it has basically it's producing pollen, and so I have been collecting pollen, and it's given me a lot. So. If anyone's out there and has an anthurium that has given you pollen, I think I've read videos and seen that it can give you pollen for up to a month. You just like scrape the pollen off, put it back in where it lives or where, where it belongs and you go back after a couple of days and you know you collect some more and you kind of keep doing this. And then eventually you just keep doing this until it die. The flower will die off. So. And the flower hasn't died off on me and there's no way it's pollinated because I don't have any other anthurium that have ever flowered for me. So it would be really weird. It would have had to have self-pollinated, which I don't think it can do that because it gives off, Never mind. going on a rant. But anyways, I'm hoping that it either gives me another flower and then I can pollinate it with the pollen I received from this current flower or maybe one of my other anthurium flower and then I can put the anthurium GG pollen on it. I don't know, there's just so many cool possibilities. Um, so I would really love to have the opportunity to just be able to pollinate and like be able to germinate the seed, get, collect the, I think people call them the berries, <laughs> collect the berries and germinate them. And I know it's a really long process, but I just think it would be cool to uh, be able to do something like that. But yeah, that is it for my 2023 plant goals. So fingers crossed, I doubt I'll be able to meet all of them, <laughs> but fingers crossed that I can at least strike one off the list. And 
let me know if you have any 2023 plant goals that you would like to share and i hope if you have made any i hope that you can get reach them all or at least reach one of them or at least that it gives you some type of inspiration Alrighty, and that is it for my 2023 plant goals we'll see how this year goes but I have a really good feeling about it and I think it's gonna be a good year regardless of whether I meet these goals or not. Um, I, have a, I have a good feeling I'll be able to meet at least one of them because <laughs> some of them are in my control. So yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend and I hope the rest of 2023 goes amazing for you.